Yeah, we're gonna walk down this street um, in, a, in a few minutes, but we're just gonna show you what's around here too, because there's quite a bit of cool stuff around. I'll go into more detail in a minute. And then we're gonna go down this one-way street. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe. And hit the like button. Okay, so we're gonna go down this one-way street. First thing I'm just gonna show you is kind of the, it's nighttime, so you kind of got these cool buildings here. Um, and then you kind of go around like this, and then there's some more stuff. There's a roundabout there for the traffic. And then this one is called Kingsville. It's a real tall building straight ahead. Um, then this is more like Taipa. And then I always like this apartment. I don't know if you can see that at nighttime, but those kind of roundabout things right there, there's like two of them. They're pretty cool. And then you got all this kind of, um, it's like a Japanese izakaya down there. Um, Japanese izakaya is like a bar slash snack. And then there's a French um, cafe right there as well. You got these kind of cool apartments. And we're gonna walk down uh, Bee Leaf and um, show you whatever we can see around here. So we'll see how it goes. I think once we get in there a little bit, it's gonna be, it's gonna turn dark. Here's those cool apartments. Kingsville. Tall, tall apartments. They just look all the way down the street, kind of covering it. We got this seating arrangements out on here on this corner as well. Bee Leaf kind of looks out. It has some nice window views everywhere. Then another one here too, Bee Leaf. So let's just kind of take a look here. All right. Looks like I've got some traffic that's stuck right here. Okay, so let's wander down a little bit. Um, Got some Chinese restaurant, cup of coffee, coffee shop, spicy attic. And over here we have a uh, crab. So you get some crab meat and um, let's see what else we got. Portuguese, authentic Portuguese food. Aguesa Velha, Comida Portuguesa. Like a pretty nice place. I haven't been in this one yet. I think it might be new. I think. Cauda Verde soup. Okay, let's see what else. So we got stuff down this way, but we're gonna just go over here and just check out what this is. A lot of times I'll notice this one across the street called Spicy Addict. I just want to show you that real quick. That's some nice artwork as well. So Spicy Addict kind of has. They got some. Uh, you can eat beer and food in there, so sometimes I'll see kind of a nightlife crowd in there at all times of night. This one has uh, skewers, looks like corn. Huh. I see those in the street sometimes, those are in the uh, streets of mainland China. Okay. Hello, And this one too, okay. Oh, Let me just take a look at this one. Uh, and this uh, one has. Pipical, fresh. Oh, okay. Uh, fresh dish. Fresh noodle. Yeah, okay. Rice noodle. Uh, yeah, rice noodle. Mushrooms. Barbecue. Hot barbecue. pot. Oh, and hot pot too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sounds Coming. good. I'm uh, just looking around, so. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll come by another time. This is uh, this one right here. Okay. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next time. Thank you so much. So there's another shop. So there's a very friendly person. So come and visit her. Hello. <laughs> Same? Ah, that sounds good. So I think that's um, promoting this one. And then Spicy Addict is right here. Um, it's kind of a cool picture right there. And then you got this guy right here. So, okay. Let's keep on going down. See what else we got on the street. Um, Portuguese again. So we had one, this was a Michelin, Michelin winner as well. Um, Emmanuel Cozinha Portuguesa, and there's a bunch of Michelin awards on the window. Huh, let check that out. Okay, let's see what else we got around here. This one looks like it's um, maybe Sichuan. 
think. We got a kind of a cool little guy here. And we got a Japanese one here too. So this one looks like it's um And there's a couple more here, and let's just see what it's over there again. That goes up to the street level. Okay, so this is this little street right here. Um, a little bit darker, and now we're gonna just kind of walk down a little bit and just see what we can see in the dark. This is. Um, and then we got some um, uh, graffiti artwork. So let's check out this artwork. So we got, looks like a, I don't know, is that a cheeseburger? I don't know what it is. Got a dragon over top of it. And I think that we're gonna lose our lighting, but we'll see how far we can go down this alley. Um, it's a really cool alley during the daytime. To the right is uh, like a fireworks, oh, you, what used to be a fireworks, so um, fireworks factory. And to the left we have um, giant rock, some um, Buddhist shrine, temple, and then all that stuff is, um, I think it's all labels for this, what used to be a fireworks cracker, firecracker factory, sorry. And we're just gonna walk on down. And at nighttime, I think it's um, maybe not. It's interesting in the daytime, more Buddhist stuff. Let me just go real quick. I don't know if you can see any of this stuff at nighttime. Anyway, so it'll be any spot right there.